Good evening, everybody. My name is Shelley Robinson. I am the teacher of the Rising Sun and the Seven Light Rays. Today is January 26, 2016. And those of you that know me know I'm big on numbers. And um, two and six is eight, which is a manifesting wealth and abundance. This, it's a prosperity number. And anything coupled with one doubles it. So today is eight, eight, nine. And a nine um, indicates that one door is closing and another door is opening. And that is what this year is all about. There's a lot of people going through um, changes within themselves. There's a lot of upheavals within the earth, which causes a lot of upheavals within humans. And tonight I was going to do a live um, episode of how to unlock the powers within. And unfortunately, we are having uh, technical difficulties with the live feed. So I apologize to everybody, but um, this is pre-recorded. And next, uh, on Wednesday, will be the live feed where you can interact with me, answer questions throughout the show. But today is just pre-recorded, and I will be teaching knowledge on how to basically unlock, unleash, and activate your um, dormant abilities, powers, DNA, divine birthright, however you want to word it, within. We all have them, and um, people, a lot of people around the world call that it the veil. And I want to educate everybody just a little bit about uh, some terms, because I feel this is where a lot of confusion is going on in the world, and uh, right now there needs to be some clarification. One of my jobs is to um, be a different healer than most of activating people of their divine abilities. And I say divine because divine is a word that we use as unconditional love, bliss, forgiveness, compassion, and what most people would refer to as deities and angels and archangels. So um, these are words that are going to be re-educated to you through me. However, I'm going to relay to you in words that you're used to understanding. So um, I have a lot of advanced knowledge, but that can be once you've passed certain levels. As they say, the veil cannot be lifted too quickly because as many of you realize around the world, when somebody tells you something that you don't believe in, what's the first thing you do? You get defensive. You challenge their opinion. That is not being non-judgmental that is giving off a defensive negative energy. And what I like to call the veil is low energy. Now you see, to unlock the powers within, you have to understand the basics of humanity and the earth itself. Because if you do not, then you won't know how to unlock and lift the veil of your own self. And my biggest saying that I say to everybody is, the way to world peace is to first climb the mountain of self. Because if we're not dealing with ourselves, then we are giving off a, a mass amount of whatever negative energy is in us. And the veil is a negative energy. It is, it is a force field around us that allows us not to see. And the reason we, we call this the veil and the reason that this is even here on Earth is it's a free will zone. Earth um, was created by many... Uh, without getting to, into too much because this is getting into advance, from the beginning of time, it starts off when universes are created, they're created with a low vibration, very light energy. And over time, every 26,000 years, as our planet comes into alignment with the galactic center, which scriptures refer to as God's eye, um, when, and this time, in this generation, we're in another planetary alignment. And so what's happening is this energy from the galactic center is pouring into the Earth's atmosphere. It's changing the Earth's environment, everything within it. It's changing our chemical makeup. We have psychic abilities. We are all telepathic. We all can speak to the spirit realm and angels and what I call Elohim, which is the most high, the emerald green light, the most high energy, because the energy that comes in the earth are, it comes in different rays from the sun. We all heal from the sun. 
and they're called the seven light rays. And each rays offers a different healing, a different ability, a different, uh, shall you say, uh, activation that it carries. And so as we come into a higher um, energy in our earth, many people are being activated. And what's happening, as the Bible predicts, that there will be a lot of diseases. Um, many people will have visions and prophecies, and there will be earthquakes, and there will be signs in the sky. This can all be predicted by looking into the stars, the planetary alignment. When I went on my quest to find what most people call the humanized God, um, I would have to say that through suffering, I found a strength within myself that I did not know existed. I had always believed in the, the powers to be, that there was something stronger out there that create miracles. I believed in everything that I set my mind to. However, I was lacking understanding of what unconditional love was, what forgiveness really was, what compassion really was. So therefore, I was brought through a series in the past five years since, um, I would actually have to say since the year 2000, but in 2010 was when I, I actually um, began awakening, not knowing. So um, what I want to share with you guys is the way to unlock the power within is truly to see things through eyes of unconditional love. I talk with many people that claim that they're masters, that try to use their name and say there's somebody else. I'm this light being, this is my higher self, this is their name, but this is me. We're merging in with our light being. We need to not separate ourselves. We need to not also call ourselves angels, Archangel Michael, um, uh, Sunat Kamara, um, Jesus. There are, every one of us have many different visions when we awake. And when we awake, sometimes we awake very hard. We want to yell at the top of our lungs. We want to share with everybody. And it hurts your soul. But wait on those visions. I had somebody that is younger than me when I first awoke told, tell me that sit on your visions. Don't tell people. They will not understand. And he was correct. And I got very defensive. But what I understood through a lot of my mistakes and a lot of my failures was that it, great enlightenment came, great promotions came. And really, to make it simple, I began realizing you have to look at things from a higher perspective. If you do not look at things from a higher perspective of unconditional love, I have been hurt by many, many people. I do not have my, my daughter in my life. Um, it has been almost a year since I've had um, any form of real communication with her. I have lost um, my home, money, car, friends. This was the past five years, but just this year, finally, I started beginning to be validated for a lot of the things I was saying. I, um, through suffering, unfortunately, many people are going to find a power within that they never knew existed simply because they have been conditioned to having things handed to them, to be lazy. And I have many people say, how can I activate my abilities? How can I become more telepathic? How can I um, connect with the collective consciousness? The collective consciousness is the information of everything that is, was, and will ever be. And when you learn to tap into that, you can have unlimited knowledge, clairvoyance, psychic abilities, and that's how people predict things because they're accessing information that already was there. And so you begin to also tap into other people's minds. And we're moving into an age where language will be no more. Language is boxing. It's limiting. It's actually controlling, and we're getting out of a fear-based environment. The hardest thing people will have will be reprogramming their mind. This has to happen before you can unlock the power within. Because really, granting the power within means that you are accepting everything with non-judgment, unconditional love, you forgive anything that's ever happened to you, and you have compassion for all things because it doesn't create a blockage, and when I, an, an, a negative energy blockage. Everything is energy. And learn about magnetism. 
because we are here to learn to manipulate energy for good, to help raise awareness about our divine abilities. This energy knows no good or bad. We'll get into creation, we'll get, get into the supreme being and, and how deities came, but right now, this focus is how to heal yourself first. Because if you're not looking at things without frustration, defensiveness, sadness, anger, you will not access the higher levels because you will be perceiving everything as bad, playing the victim, if life isn't fair. This is duality. All life has to go through this process, no matter what you are. And it's unfortunate, um, but when you get so enlightened and you, and, you, and you see all the way to the source, you understand how earth is created and universes are created and the process of evolution and the process of spiritual evolution. And, and I, I can understand why humans feel special because we're a mix of many, many races, many, many breeds mixed with our mind, body, and soul, which will all be done by your seven light rays with your seven chakras that's admitting or that's engaging yourself into the cosmos. I'm sorry, I drew a blank and this happens every once in a while because when I open up and get passionate about uh, the galactic alignment and the divine powers within, I start pulling in this energy, the collective consciousness, the God source, the creational energy, and I just start downloading loads of information. It's clairvoyance. Anything I need, I get. And this is simply because I had major dedication ambition, passion, I had drive. My daughter was the driving force and then I began to love humanity like you wouldn't believe. I, I started saying I'd risk my life because I knew that it was for my daughter's future, it was for her sake. And I actually had the beings of green light, they, the, um, they call the, uh, the Cosmosians, Cosmos, um, which Emerald Light Ray is the highest form of energy, the most high. And a lot of people do not understand. I can explain if Allah had come to, or when Allah came, Allah is one. It was one light being. He came from the green light beings. But Allah, us, means all of us, consciousness, oneness. And each human that actually goes to the point of beyond scripture because I, I knew man wrote scripture. I went beyond that. I wanted to go to the source and I wanted to know answers. I wanted to know truths. And that's what occult means, truths. There's a lot of information that people do not, do not understand that needs to be retaught. But I, what I want to hammer home the most is love is the key because when you look at something with pure love, Take my, my life, for example, and I use this because um, I'm not at liberty to use other people's lives. I've had some very unfortunate situations happen to me in my life, but because I've been able to look at things in a higher perspective, my, my mind now is open to future realities, and my vibration goes higher. And when you're used to a low-conditioned environment, which Earth is, it's be, and again, low energy is conditioning of you're not good enough, um, do this the right way, um, I want you to get A's, um, and it can be passive aggressive. Anything that isn't, anything that doesn't build you up, that's negative energy. And so any worry, stress, fear, it creates this field. And so you can't bring in any abundance your way, nothing. So what you need to do and I will be listing this on my page, um, um, The Powers Within. I have a public page that I'll be doing most of my work on. And I have a website that I'll be putting up, um, the, pa uh, the Power is Within.net. It's under construction, so it is not quite ready. Um, but what it will be gearing on is helping people to heal first and then teaching them how to become psychic, telepathic, how to attract um, with the law of attraction. Um, prosperity, wealth, um, happiness, love, um, a better career. Um, also, this is also geared to corporate leaders, people that own companies that want to help their employees do better, earn more um, volume for their company. And it's all about thought reprogramming, building them up. When you feel better, when you speak positive, you are better. You raise your vibrations, you perform better. 
So it's very important to treat people around you good. And this is the magnet magnetism that I'm talking to you about. Everything is energy. And so as our energy field changes, the environment, our Earth's environment is becoming dense from the galactic center, God's eye. And so we attract quicker what we are thinking. So we need to keep our mind focused on things that we want and not what we don't want. We need to visualize it. Do not put your focus on money. Put your focus on, on solutions, on plans. Visualize yourself um, speaking to some, if, say for a job, for example. Um, making phone calls to the jobs you want. Speaking to them. Sitting down in an interview. Saying yes. Making it work out. And having them say, okay, great. It's good. You're hired. Visualize this daily, but don't hyper-focus on it. Because when you worry, again, that blocks the flow of any good energy. And so, again, and that's expectations. Don't set yourself up for ex expectations because that too also can create blockages as well. Expectations of perfectionism, expectations of, of anything sets, is basically setting yourself up for failure because nobody knows... Um, at time or date, yes, I say prediction, yes, I say, but we can only know so much because of free will. So, again, everything is energy. What you focus on grows. Your thoughts are energy. In the Bible, it says, I spoke. In the beginning, there was word, and I spoke, and the word was God. And so we created God humanized. It's a source energy in the beginning. Same thing it goes for us. In the Bible, I found be careful of your thoughts because your thoughts will manifest. These are things that Jesus Christ taught. And those people in the spiritual realm fight with the people who are in the religious realm. They all matter. Remember, humans wrote scripture. Understand, if you understand energy and you understand manifestation, then you understand Christ is real. Okay? Because we put energy behind Christ. So what you put your focus on grows, and what grows will manifest. So these things will come to pass. The tribulations come to pass. But you can take yourself how to create the heaven on earth is by taking yourself out of the old world thought process. And that is simply by looking at things with love. Stop fighting with the government. Stop fighting with religious people. Um, Fear, ignorance, and your lack of education. Because if you're just going to listen to what's in the media, everything is everything isn't what it seems. We need to learn to connect to our higher selves. We have been so reliant on computers. We've been so reliant on on working and material things that we do not see what's going on around us. This is why I'm here. I'm here to help people clear the blockages of their seven light rays, your seven chakras, so they can f have a good flow and a good flow of whatever they want they need. And that's what Jesus referred to. And I say Jesus because everybody's familiar with him. Um, and Mohammed, I, I was, was brought there first. I am Muslim. And I haven't even read um, certain things in the Quran or the Bible, I'm led to what I need to read. I remember being told by the beings, the emerald green light beings um, that came to me, remember humans wrote them and you have to go with yourself and they were written by man. Masculine energy is very prominent in the world and there's a power struggle. So we are coming into an age of feminism, feminine so we can balance out that masculine because there needs to be more forgiveness and compassion and trust and transparency because everybody in the world is going, going to go through an upheaval at some point. If they don't do it themselves, it will appear as if it's forced on them because deities, um, light beings, you got light beings, I refer to them as, as pure energy. And they kind of, and they form to me based on what I need them to, um, and they've given me uh, thoughts, which is what I will create for you, because this is how things manifest. And so the tribulations, they call end times, is the birth of a new world. And so t me teaching you how to, with the law of attraction, first by healing, and then second with thought positive reprogramming, and then thirdly with the law of attraction, and last 
with the law of action. These four things will create heaven on earth for you. And these are all things that will be on my website. These things I did myself, I'm able to manifest anything I need instantly. Now, it doesn't mean that I always accept what comes my way because the biggest issue I find is many people are attracting what they want. Many people already have unlocked the power within, but they're not utilizing it. They're not paying attention to it because they're so worried about what everybody thinks. And that is the problem. We need to stop worrying and, and focusing on the outside world and focus on your heart. It's your heart center, love. When you start changing inside and you start viewing everything from a higher perspective when someone makes you mad, don't engage. You can feel it. You can feel it when someone hurts your feelings. That's energy. We're made up of energy. And usually we give it back. And that's just creating a struggle for power. And when one stops doing that, then one creates this flow of positivity. It no longer bothers you. Nothing negative bothers you. So you create a positive field. Everything flows. And whatever doesn't vibrate or flow with you, on an energy level, you just don't notice anymore. So when you start, and this is very important, on forgive, uh, forgiveness, unconditional love, and compassion will take you outside of the chaos that's going on in the world. Because you will choose to not fight with everybody. And when you begin to truly feel this way for everybody, your connection to the collective consciousness, to other people's conscious minds, you become telepathic, your, your intuition is your connection to your higher self, your connection to the God source, not the human God that we speak of, but the God source energy. And this energy knows no good or bad. It's humans that judge. It's humans that make things for or against things. So remember this. We are in a planetary alignment right now. We are going through that 26-year cycle. And it will complete in 2026 into 27. By this time, we'll have so much high energy in the universe that what we are thinking in our mind will manifest very, very quick. So there's going to be a lot of people with thinking they have mental illnesses or they manifest diseases because they're focusing on all these negative things in their body. And your body manifests a lot of diseases, a lot of issues. So this is why... The, I try to hammer home to people, focus on what you want and not what you don't want. I'm going to be doing more sessions on um, unlocking the power within, but the main thing is clearing your third eye, which I haven't gone into yet. You listen to a meditation, a guided meditation at first that unblocks your third eye, and then the rest of your, your throat chakra. Um, you have your peak. Penile gland, there's many, many chakras. You want to look up your seven chakras and the seven light rays. I'll be getting into more of these episodes um, in detail with these down the road because right now we're going to be moving into air where there'll be no language. Talking is a lot of energy. And, it, and this energy that isn't being used is can be used for great things. And people that have what they call bipolar or ADD, this is just a higher amount of energy. Um, we were born, after at, the ones born after 1945, because of the planetary alignments, the energies were higher. We're more susceptible to these in-tune frequencies of the spirit. Um, we have more abilities. We have a knowing. We know that the things in the earth are not right, that we've abused Mother Earth, that, that what we teach in the educational system, in the medical world, and in the government is wrong. And so we're here to change those things and understand that religion, spirituality, and truths, and tribes, and races are going to be all becoming one. Because after the planets come into full alignment, people will be thrusted into these abilities. So it is my job to teach you healing must come. Healing must come first through your seven chakras and then you will unlock other abilities. You have to deal with yourself, and that goes to your family. The reason why a lot of us are having a lot of issues right now are simply because we're carrying the spiritual work of our families. It is a buildup of energies over time, and 
the our generation, my, the generation I am the X, the X generation, and we are carrying, we are undoing the wheel of karma of our of the baby boomer generation, who is just kind of stuck in their ways of fear, unworthiness, untrustness, and they just don't understand that they have a lot of abilities. They're different than everybody else. They don't like the normal nine to five job. They're defiant. Um, they're they're still reliant on their family for income. It's because nobody knew what was going on within them. And I myself had a hard time with income, um, finding a job that worked well for me. Um, I I I noticed I was bored a lot. I noticed I had high energy, which they called ADD. I noticed that. Um, I was very, very, my intuition was very strong. I tend to have ESP a lot. And it actually caused a lot of problems in my life. It, it, it ruined a lot of my, my, my relationships that I had um, that are now restoring now. But it was an awakening process. Um, everyone has triggers. And I fought it. And the more negativity I fought against everyone, even though that they weren't in the right, I was attracting more a negative energy towards me. So those enemies or those people that I don't care for, I love them now. Because, you know, I really understand the journey and the process of life that some people through their history and their generations with their family have endured serious sufferings. And they, too, were taught wrong things. They, too, do not understand energy. And what I want to do is explain that everything is made up of energy. And so what you put out comes back to you. And so if you want to tap into these powers within, help your employees become better employees, be a better mother, um, children. Children have abilities like you wouldn't believe now, far exceed the ones that we have now. We need to teach them differently. We need to cater to them in a different way. The school systems now do not work. They separate them. They're telling them. They're, they're labeling gifts as ADD and even schizophrenia. Schizophrenia is, um, is actually many souls that are trying to merge, but their earth soul can't ground them. And, and so they label these things as bad. Instead, if they were taught how to control these and ground these souls and energies, then they could have harnessed this and used this for great things. Because when you learn to harness the, the energy of love and your emotions from fluctuating moods up and down, and you start realizing um, synchronicity starts happening, there's a series of events that, that you realize you, that you get up in the morning, you were supposed to do something, it didn't work out, and then you led to one thing, and that didn't work out. But then two hours later, you ran into somebody that changed your whole afternoon and changed your future. That's synchronicity. These things are happening more and more and more. And these things are also what you call connected to the collective consciousness. All these things will start to occur when you... Look at things from an unconditional point of view of love. And it is very hard for people to look into their past. Very hard for people to confront people. I'm going to be honest. Many people that, that you feel have wronged you are not going to be very welcoming. They're not going to want to um, excuse me, work with you and be honest of dealing with their things as well. And so you just have to accept that they're in a different spot in their journey. And when you realize that everything happens for a reason and nothing happens by chance and not e even mistakes, then you realize that that's where they are in their journey. And some of our lessons that we go through are not just for us, but they're for other people to learn from and grow from. So know the things that you do affect others. And, and being a role model, working on yourself is how we affect the world. So the key right now that I can get home to unlocking the power within is healing yourself, looking at things with unconditional love, forgiveness, and kindness, and compassion for all things. And if you run into a situation where people don't agree with you, they're mad at you, they call you names, they, they say you're a liar, they don't believe in you, just disengage and understand where they are right now. And anyone that's wronged you will deal with their energy or their karma because everything is energy. It comes back, especially during this time when the energy is pouring into our earth more and more as each planet comes into alignment with earth. And again, 
This will complete around 2026 20, into 27. And when this happens, this is what scripture calls as, again, pouring, pouring God's spirit onto the earth and many will have visions um, and many will have abilities. And this, you guys have to be careful with scripture. There are great things. They came, religion is good because souls have to follow other souls. They don't know the way. There are many that don't know the way. People get mad and say, um, we're going into an age where there's, the age of the crown, there's no leader. Well, there has to be somebody that, that puts structure in order because in a household, somebody has to run. Somebody has to make the decision. Not everybody wants to be in that leadership position, but it's only given to those that appear in heart. And right now, there are many of us coming together, many of us with the movement of unconditional love, forgiveness, and kindness. And even they are having a hard time struggling. We're having a, um, a rising new sun. We can see new planets. There are signs in the sky that are saying, this is happening. This is real. We can prove it scientifically. Um, scriptures were able to predict this. Nostradamus was able to predict this. Many people were hushed of this information. But if I could tap into this information, then so can all of you. I have been through the depths of my own personal hell. And I have now risen to heights that I can only thank the spiritual hierarchy and the, the, the benevolent astral realms. Because they are the only ones who have taught me and, and led me to everything that I know now. And that if I need certain beings, if I need connections, if I lose something, I, I ask upon my higher self, which they've told me is one with the God source, is the highest thing that we can call upon. However, understand, when you get into these realms, there are spirits that are not good. And just like humans use discernment, understand that if it isn't of unconditional love, forgiveness, and kindness, if it doesn't feel right, doubt equals don't. So understand, or you need more education. Because you shouldn't fear darkness. You shouldn't fear anything bad if you completely understand, if you look at things from a higher perspective. It just will vanish. Thoughts you can create and destroy with thought alone. This is very important. So understand that to the power within comes great responsibility. And this power within is, is being activated in many people. However, some people will not know how to activate and will have trouble with this because their pride, their ego, fear, and judgment of what other people think, this will be the biggest factor. And you have to push through those phases. If you don't push through those phases, then you will be stuck and stagnant. And this is why tribulations will occur. This energy will fester up so many negative things in people in so many ways. There'll be fights. There'll be wars. Um, there'll be countries rising. It's already happening. Donald Trump is rising. Putin is rising in North Korea. Um, it, it'll be coming in World War III. Um, uh, New York getting hit by a tsunami. These things are predicted and will happen. So I want to close out tonight and say thank you very much for you guys. I have much love for everybody and we'll do many more episodes on how to unlock the power within as it is an ongoing healing process and something that everybody will go through if they don't do it themselves.